pop cops on duty and we got a challenge bailey mm -hmm. like, justin and keith tons of fun justin and keaton challenge us to Luke wants to be right in the camera. <laughs> challenge us to a paparazzi challenge. I'll explain more. Be right back. What's up, everybody? It's a pop cut back again with Bailey and Duke. I said the name. I know. You usually say the child or something weird. Okay. <laughs> Now, Justin and Keaton at Key Tons of Fun, they challenged a whole bunch of channels to the Paparazzi Challenge. Now, this challenge is, okay, when you go to a con and you get a picture with a celebrity or, like, an actor or whatever, show the picture and you show the corresponding cop. Okay? Now, we don't get a lot of, I've been to probably six cons. Oh, all of them in San Antonio. I've been to two. Yeah, Bailey started going with me. So we don't usually, because it's usually extra to get the the photograph. I usually just get the autograph. Like the most recent one we went to, Kane the wrestler. We got my pop autographed, and it was fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. But if you wanted it, like a selfie photo, also it was the combo was eighty five. So I just did the autograph, but uh, um, so the, the first picture one was like thirty-five bucks. Yeah, it was like thirty-five bucks, and I'd rather just get more autographs than pay for the picture. But that's my favorite signature. The most recent con we went to, Michael Myers. <laughs> got the guy that plays Michael Myers in the new Halloween movies. To sign my pop. Now his, he actually had like a free photo, so I'm gonna post that right here. So it was fifty dollars for the autograph and the picture. So that one you'd have to pay extra for the picture, but a lot of them you do. So we're gonna get a little creative. You do be sleeping on my <laughs> always on your blanket. So we're gonna have to get a little creative. Now, it's mostly just gonna be signatures, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of these I'm going to show. I saw a shoe over there. Yes, I'll explain that when we get to it because I'm gonna break it up a little, a little bit. Like, we'll shoot some, we'll take a break, we'll shoot some more. Okay, the first one. Now, we have a travel trailer, we haven't gone camping in a while. They have Jellystone Parks. Oh, they're the it's best. Like Yogi Bear based park. So this is going to be a picture with <laughs> Bailey with Yogi Bear. But from when I was younger? Yes. <laughs> so we got the two Yogi Bear sodas. To we go haven't with that. been there in like two years. Yeah, our camper is something electric. The we have lights an electrical are out issue and with our camper. We just have, haven't gotten it fixed yet. There's no air conditioning and the lights went Yeah, out. it's an electrical issue. We need to get it fixed. Plus, my truck's getting old. I wanted to get a new truck before. It's really paint because our camper's oh, really up. big It's and heavy. So it's hard to pull it with my old truck. Mm. Okay. Now, this next picture, it's me with Bigfoot. It's a Bigfoot statue, but... <laughs> Bigfoot. It works. I forgot what I think it was somewhere in New Mexico. We went on vacation. So I got the two Bigfoot pops. The only two I have. The rainbow one. I like the rainbow one. Yeah, and then the flocked one from the HQ. I love rainbow though. It's the prettiest color ever. I like the flocked one. There's a whole bunch. I want to get them all, but some of them are kind of expensive. The way are you standing? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and do this one. We went to some museum somewhere, and they had an they had a one of the aliens from the movie Alien. It'll be right over here. I think it's a picture of you with the alien. Was it also when I was younger? Yeah. So you here's the my here's the, Z the xenomorph. See, look. This is why you need to have less lights. Well, I know, but people need to see, be able to see me. I just need to figure out 
that's probably a good position right there. I do have a couple of other alien pots, but that's the the one that matches the alien the best. Okay. Next up. One of the times me and your mom went to one of the Astros games, we took a picture with Orbit. So. Orbit. Got Orbit. He looks so happy. The Houston Astros mascot. He looks so happy. He's a cute guy. Okay. Good night. I used to be scared of him. I don't think I think you've only been to one game with us. That, that was the one when I was going to the dare training. We went to the game. Mm. Alright, the next ones are from oh, wow. most I'm... people don't know, but there was a time when Bailey was in the hospital for like 35 days. She had some weird, some rare kind of pneumonia. Pneumonia. Like the fluid in her lungs, they ate a hole in her lungs. So she was in the hospital for over a month. And after that, we're like, oh, we're going to save up and go to Disney World. Well, the next year we went to Disney World. And these are all, these are all photos from Disney World. Okay. We've got one. First order trooper. I don't, I don't have a common one. This is FN twenty one ninety nine. Finn took a picture with one of the troopers. Told you we had to get a little creative on this one. And then Bailey took a picture yeah. with BB eight. Oh, isn't there like an off brand BB eight somewhere else? I don't it remember, was like maybe. FF8 or FF6 or something. I don't remember, but I was going through my phone. I was oh. trying to find, search for things we could use. All right. Uh, ne this next one. You found that Comic Con. It was like an orange. Oh yeah, the orange one, but it was they wanted too much for it. Okay, this next one's a picture. All of us with Kylo Ren. Now I'm gonna have to take Miss Pop Top out because if I show <laughs> a picture where she used to be. A little big boned, she'll kill me. So I'm gonna take her out of it. I'll just scribble over her. It sounds rude, but it also sounds like a nice thing to do. What? Well, I know if I posted the picture when your mom used to be, she'll be about 75 pounds heavier, she would kill me. Mm. Okay, the next one mm. gonna be a picture with Bailey with mm. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Why is he a boy on his head? It's from Hoth. We got snowed on. Oh. Lucky. Ice planet. Now I have another. I one of the, the mm. I think the very first Comic Con I went to in San Antonio was called Alamo City Comic Con. Peter Mayhew was there. He's the guy that played Chewbacca. Oh. I didn't get a picture with him, but I got him to autograph. I don't know if you can see it. It's in silver at the top. Now he's he's passed on. He's. Oh. Yeah. He was the one that played Chewbacca in the original Star Wars, or oh. the first ones. Yeah. I got him to sign my figure. Why is it yellow? Because it's old. <laughs> it's been sitting on the shelf over there for a while. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. we also have Ariel. What? We finally took a picture with Ariel at Disney World. Oh, I remember seeing that picture where you're sitting on like a seashell. Yeah, something like that. It's going to be over here. I took his phone and I looked through all the pictures of when I was a baby. Yeah, on her way to the last con, she was looking through all her, all my pictures. My arm's going numb from doobie laying on it. <laughs> okay, we're going to pause for a second and we'll be back. With more. I need to move stuff off the table real quick. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back for round two. Okay, now these next ones, I have pictures somewhere. I don't know where they're at gonna try and find them but if not gonna go ahead and just show the autograph I got that day okay well, first up autograph from the young bucks I don't know if there's any wrestler wrestling fans out there yeah. okay, these are the two pops that correspond that correspond to the autograph in the picture. I do have a picture with them somewhere. Now I've switched, had like probably three phones since then, so 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to find them. Next up, Cody Rhodes. It literally says your phone is in the same Oh, that's from, that's the ticket from when I we went to the show. <laughs> what, how long ago was that? Oh, I don't know. Let me see. 2017. Yeah, that's so the ticket from I was when I went to the show and got the autographs. 11, 12, 13, 14. I was yeah, seven. Now, this next one, Boondock Saints, was one of my favorite movies. <laughs> Juby took my blanket. I can't even remember this guy's name. The one, the guy that played Connor. I have a picture of him somewhere. I don't know if I can find it. I think that's gonna be another issue with finding all these pictures. Boondock I know. Chick. Boondock Saints. That was an awesome. Oh, okay. I do have the autograph from the the long-haired guy in the movie too. But. Uh, what's his name wasn't there. The guy from Walking Dead wasn't there. Your wife's you guys calling you. Oh, is she? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next up. I don't have a picture with Ray Park. Oh, it's slanted. But he autographed my figure. It's slanted. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. It was cool. There was some guy that had the double lightsaber at the con, and he's like, oh, let me have this, and he's like, oh, he started flipping it all around. And I had to show off my Black my Freddy as Darth Maul. Wait, wait, look, I'm with you. 4,000 pieces, is so cool, right? That's 4,000 pieces? Yeah, there's only 4,000. Finally, they made a number even. Okay, we're gonna stop right here that because I gotta reach the other pops over there. And call his wife back. No, I'm not. She can <laughs> wait. Okay, we're back. Just wanna show you guys. These are all the autographs I have. All these books. All eight by tens. Or other autograph stuff. And they got cherries. Alright. Next up. We have Ralph Macchio. The Karate Kid. Karate Kid. Put Bonsai on there. Freaking ring cameras. Horrible. And then Johnny Lawrence. The only one I missed from the set's Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. William Zapka's autograph. Some of these are hard to see. Okay, next up. Now you asked about the shoe. Yes, you did. Okay. I gotta tell you, it goes with Jonathan Davis from Corn. <laughs> looks like a girl. Now, when I was like 16, 17 years old. We lived uh, in a little town by Corpus Christi, Texas. We went to a, con I don't remember who the headliner was, but Corn was the opening band. This was before they were Corn. It was, I had never heard them before, but we heard them play and we're like, oh my God, who is, who were these guys? It just so happened they had a Taco Bell, like stand in the, so you get food there. And we're just looking around and like, they're over there getting Taco Bell. So I had Jonathan Davis. I think he's at the bottom of the second stripe. I didn't have anything for them to sign. So, so I took my shoe. Adidas shoe off. Monkey and Head also signed the shoe. It was all three of them were there. <laughs> so I didn't have anything for. That I don't shoe's even, probably like a hundred. Yeah, old. it's uh, <laughs> probably close to thirty years old. That's why it's all yellow at the bottom. They signed my Adidas. Just happened to wear, be wearing Adidas. I've had it ever since then. <laughs> I like it. 
I don't think I wore them after I got it signed either. But they're old. Yeah. Okay, and now. Why am I even showing it this way? There was a time before I became a police officer. I worked at a, a prison. We had to go to. Well, if you're a police officer, you still work at a prison. You can, but before I went to the police academy, I was going, <laughs> I was going to get my jailer's license in San Antonio. And we had a lunch break, so it was a bunch of us. We stopped at, we had a little extra time, so we stopped at a tire and rim shop just to look at the rims. Oh, you told me about this. Yes, and guess who was there? Now, this was back before cell phones had cameras. This was has got to have been 20 years ago. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, once again, I didn't have, I wasn't expecting to see Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm going to sign a dollar bill. So that's the person who signed it? Stone Cold Steve Austin. He literally has a hanging on his wall. Of course, dude. I don't have anything see to it. sign. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, because we were standing there looking at the rims. We were like, oh my, is that him? And then we're like, he had the Texas tattoo on his cap. We we're like, oh my God, that's him. I was the only one brave enough to go up and talk to him. Really? Yeah. The only thing I had was a pen. He was like, oh, he talked to the guy at the counter. He was like, oh, give me a Sharpie. Sign my dollar. So then I got the soda chase in common to go with it. All right. This next person. I want to say the first con I went to, I don't even know if you could take selfies with him at the time. Now you had to buy this print yep. to get him to yeah. autograph it. I don't know if anybody can read the autograph. Shit. See who's in the middle right there? Stan Lee. Stanley something. It's Stan Lee. Mm. He's got the pop to go with him. I think I probably got this at the same con. Is he actually like an 85 year old guy or no? He's dead now. He's super crazy. That might have been why he couldn't take pictures with him. He was, he was so old. And I don't why know. Why does he have a bib on? He's opening his shirt. It says Stan Lee. Oh. So that was one of my one of the things I'll keep forever. Stan Lee Otto. Why? Because he's dead? He's dead. He can't get his autograph anymore. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to put these up and then we'll finish up the video. Okay, we're back for the last round. Okay, like I said, I used to be a huge wrestling fan. But all the Still autographs, are. not that much anymore. Okay, first up, we got the two Stings to go with the Sting autograph. Why is this face white right there, but then it's like red and blue on the See, like when you go to a con, they have like different pictures to pick from. I always liked the Sting for when I was a kid, which is this one. He was like the surfer so Sting. this is him now? Then he was this, this crow Sting, and then he was the wolf pack Sting. I think this one's worth over a hundred bucks, something like that. How much are they? and heart protectors. Okay. Next up. Did he dye his hair or what? Yeah. Got some Ric Flair action. Stop. To go with. Woo! That was loud. The Ric Flair autograph. Now I do have a. Is he dead too? No, he's still, he's still kicking it. Hopefully one day he'll come back to Texas. And get one of these pop signs, probably this one. Nah, well, this one's the older one. But I actually like this one better. I might get this one. If it comes back, I'll definitely get one of these signed. I do have a picture of him at the table somewhere. Are oh, you going to talk about how we laid in line like the, for that dude for like two hours? Can't, that's on our under, other video. Okay. But they didn't see it though. Oh, this will come out after the other video. 
Okay, next up. Now she's also passed away. China. Let's go with the China pot. Put a pot. Yeah. I bet your mom's gonna get jealous at that. She's dead. Um, Next up, we got the two, million dollar man, Ted, Ted, Ted DiBiase. Instead of the back, it's trying to need it. Go with the common and you're the welcome. chase. You're welcome for your sticky table. Bro, you better clean that. I'm kind of right here. Look it up. All right, next up. See, yeah. I just I just got Jerry the King Lawler because I wanted to eventually get this signed. Hopefully, he'll come back to Texas. But I do already have his autograph. Like I said, I it's old school from when I was a kid. I got this picture. All right. Up next. No. Jake the Snake Roberts. Coming in the chase set. I don't know if you can see the with the autograph. I can't. It's, it's black Sharpie. It's kind of hard to see. Should have used a different color. I think I also have an aut another autograph of his that I got in a box somewhere. Yeah. But that's the one I got in person. No, oh, I got a couple more. Uh, there you go. Some Scott Hall. To go with my three razors. Three? Three razor Ramones. Looks like Michael Jackson. He looks nothing like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Okay, last up. Kevin Nash. To go with the diesel pop. Okay, why is the name diesel on there, but it's Kevin Because Nash. when he was in the WWF back then, it was diesel. F? Yes. It used to be WWF. And then he went to WCW and just used his real name, Kevin Nash. What about WWE? Or is he dead too? WW, WWF changed to WWE because they kept getting sued by... There's a World Wildlife Fund. See, dude, I got your hair all over me. <laughs> so that, that's when they stopped using WWE. Okay. Hey, the us. Now, when I was looking for my, because I have a trunk behind here where I keep a lot of the bigger autographs that I can't put in the books. And one of the cool, I don't even remember. Like, I got this so long ago, I forgot I even had it. Who's that? Kevin Eastman, fine print. Who's that? Yeah, that made the Ninja Turtles. Oh, I thought he was like that guy or that guy, and then I would be happy. I should write one of your pops out. What? For the. Picture? Yeah, the show with that. Surprise. Now, whenever I go. I first started going to Comic Cons. I always. Like the comic book artists, they'll usually sign the comic books. So these are some of the prints I got. I just thought they were cool. I don't remember who signed it, but I just thought they looked cool. I want to show them off. You could probably read it if you really tried. I can't read that autograph at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, good luck reading that, bruh. Rowan. I don't I might have it written down somewhere. It looks like Rowan. See, that one's got the Alamo City Comic Con logo at the bottom. You know who that is? Five of 100. Scott something. I can read Scott. Scott. Give me. Tell me. Read that, bro. Blue <laughs> and then, being in San Antonio, I had to buy all these prints. Who that? Tony Parker is Deadpool. Who Tony Parker? These are 
tired now. We've got Manu Ginobili, Deadpool. Who's that? Played for the Spurs. Who's that? Duncan. Now this one was uh, that looks like a sketch. Yeah, this was a Neil Adams print and he signed it at the bottom. Who that? He's a I think he's passed away too. Comic book artist. Bruh. How are you in passed away? I just thought this one was cool. So I love the Punisher. Who that? It's the Punisher. I don't know who's Barbara. Oh, Carlo Barber Barbary. Oh Barbary. I almost said the Comic Con logo at the bottom. Barbary. I actually read that one. I didn't put it on there. Bob Layton. Auto. Bob Iron Man print. Who that? I think I got him to sign an Iron Man comic book too somewhere. And I don't remember who this guy was. Oh, Mike Choi. I just thought it was cool. Nobody knows that's Tim Duncan from the Spurs. I think this was actually in an issue of The Punisher. Well, the last two are just a couple of cool prints. This one has a signature. It's got the Who's Baroness. That? Baroness and I don't know which of the cassettes that one is. Who signed that? I don't know. Whoever drew it. Did someone drew that? And I don't remember who signed this either, but it's. I think. It had to be the guy who played. I think he. The. Drew for the Dark Vader, the actual Dark Vader series. He's got a signature right there. I totally forgot I had all these. They're just in my chest. Oh, and that thing. That thing. What? Yeah. Oh, the chest back here. He tripped over you. All right, guys. Let me know what you think. Oh. I, I know this isn't exactly what. Justin wanted, but close as I could get. Like I said, we don't. He got need, some pictures. But we usually don't. I usually don't pay for the. I would rather get more <laughs> autographs than pay for a photo. Mm, That's how I got four <clears throat> books of autographs. Um, mm. I know the first con I got, I went to, I was just because back then it was cheap. It was like twenty bucks an autograph. I got so many autographs on the eight by ten. I know he but challenged why are they some, like 50 something now? I know it's ridiculous how much they are now. We yeah. waited in love for that stupid guy for like five hours. It was like two and a half hours. Five and a half. Bro, we got all three of our autographs mm. in like three, three and a half hours. Mm. Yeah, and two of them took like five minutes. Yeah. Well, Michael Myers took like 20. Yeah, that other weird guy took five. The guy that played Chrysanthemum. I don't know. I can't remember their names. Was it that fluffy guy? It was the yeah. big tall guy. The first oh, one. the fluffy guy. Yeah, the Wars. flocked one. The one that looks like Chewbacca. Oh. Those were in our last video. That guy? Okay, dude. Okay. <laughs> That's it, guys. Uh, I know he challenged some other channels. I'm gonna try and put the, remember to put the links in the Stop. description so you can go check out their videos. Um, I know Justin's video was like an hour long. This. Yeah, that's the one we got signed. But we didn't get a picture with him. Was it, like I said, it was extra to get a picture. So. All right, guys, go check out the other channels he challenged. I know. I think a pop house with animal. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I don't have them memorized, but I'll put the the links in the description. Uh, that's gonna be it. Tell me what you think. I know it was a lot of stuff and not very many pictures, but that's all we got. Cop cops 1042.